Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Lull Farm in Hollis, and I'm joined by Jeremy Delisle from UNH Cooperative Extension. Jeremy, no secret, it's been a rough year for farmers, what with the drought. And yet I see some beautiful apples in front of me, so there are crops out there, right? Absolutely, Ray. There are crops out there. Um, the drought's been a challenge for growers this year, but they have done a really great job of pulling through, bringing out an amazing crop. Still some really good fruit out there, an amazing variety, especially at farms like we're at here today at Lull. Um, you can go through, there are all different types of varieties and we have some of them here in front of us today. Okay, so different apples for different purposes, obviously, right? That's so right. why don't we start uh, over here then? Sure, so here we've got, um, this apple is called a blue permian. Uh, this is an apple that's traditionally used and one of the favorites as a cider apple. Uh, could also be used as a fresh eating apple. It's going to have a firm texture and somewhat of a tart flavor to it. So this is one of the favorites for cider makers. Okay, and next to it? This is stamen wine sap. This is uh, considered an antique variety, very old variety from the 1800s. This is a great um, cooking apple. It's got a firm flesh. Uh, so this is one that would be great used in pies, that okay. sort of thing. All right, and finally over here. Right, so this is called Ezepis Spitzenberg, which I know is a mouthful. <laughs> also a very old variety from the 18th century. Uh, this, is, this was Thomas Jefferson's favorite apple. All right, so that's a little bit of history here as well. Now, a crop that would seem to me to take a lot of water is squashes here. Uh, smaller crop this year, what's the situation? Smaller crop, still some really good quality out there. We've got a variety here, and this kind of shows the diversity of what's out there, ranging from butternut acorn to your buttercup ornamental gourds and then things like pie pumpkins. Um, produce, or, uh, buyers can keep in mind that they can get a variety of these and they're used for different purposes and some will do better for keeping than others. And the acorn squash is great baked with a little brown sugar, maple syrup, but not that I've ever been there. <laughs> and finally, just in terms of if you'd like to get out there and pick your own, we have a list here, right? Absolutely, that's the guide and uh, the take home message is now's a great time to get out there, help these producers finish their season on a high note and go out and support your local growers. Okay, and that's it for today's Grow It Green. Green.